Watch you guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called File Recovery, and it's very similar to some of the older ones that you've seen doing arounds a few months ago. I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the sample, and this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove it. It's pretty straightforward, this one. Um, but what this does is basically stops you from using utilities on your PC, i.e. Task Manager, uh, RegEdit and Command Prompt and things like that. Also stops you from running Malwarebytes and other applications from the desktop, and also hides uh, your data sometimes. Now there's a, a few ways again going about removing this but the best way is uh, removing it from safe mobile networking if it doesn't run from there the instructions should be on the screen right now. Okay so we're going to be removing this from the desktop and I'm going to show you a way to remove it from the desktop but first off let the scan finished and as you can see it's saying it's been scanning the hard drive and it's found loads of bad sectors and all sorts of nonsense it is fake and uh, what it's trying to do is saying because you've got these bad sectors you're going to lose your data and to fix it you've got to pay for it and it will fix these issues it is all fake so let's look at the customer support page pretty convincing um, but it is again as I said it is fake and uh, we'll have a look at the pay page And as you can see, um, this is the paid page it is all uh, fake. You don't want to be paying for it. But this, as you can see, how people fall for this type of thing. It looks very convincing. Okay, I'm going to show you a way of getting around it. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the actual key that you can use. Now, this is totally legal. It's not illegal to do this because they're obviously breaking the law by doing this sort of thing anyway. So, the activation key is on the screen now, and all you need to do is use this activation key. Uh, and an e email address, a fake email address up the top and you should be able to activate it. What that's going to do is allow you to run Malwarebytes and TDSS Killer and all these from the desktop, okay? So that's how you uh, activate that program. Now this, as I said, this does actually hide your data sometimes. It doesn't always do it, but sometimes it does hide your data and if that is the case, you do not want to run any sort of temp cleaner programs like uh, C Clean or anything like that um, because that's going to cause you a few problems okay so let's see where it lives it actually lives in the programs data part and as you can see by looking at the properties of the icon there it's inside program data uh, which is inside my computer the closest off here inside here you'll see program data if you don't see that you need to show hidden files and folders and you can do that by doing this putting the dot in there and this is the actual uh, program data file and you can see all these here now you can't delete this at the moment because it's running so if you try to delete it what's going to happen is you'll just keep getting this message coming up now in Windows XP it's in a different location and that location for XP is on the screen right now okay so let's remove this what we're going to do here is going to come to my computer, come up to the top here, and uh, we're going to come to this little computer at the end here and push delete. And this is going to give us a space. And up the top, we're going to copy this uh, URL in, and this is going to give us a program called Rogue Killer. Now you can use whatever method you like, but I did say that it's easier to kill this in safe mobile networking. But we're just going to show you how to do it from here. I'm going to click Save File. And this is going to put a file inside downloads. I'm going to drag that to your desktop. Now I've already got one there as you can see. But once you've got this file, all you need to do here, if I open this up and just run this as administrator, click yes, you'll see it kill that service. And it's done that right there as you can see. Now what I'm going to do now is that it's going to allow us to run uh, malware bytes and these other types of programs or we could just go straight to the location and delete that file if we wanted to. We could highlight all these and just delete them so it won't run again. But the best thing to do after that is to run the actual malware bytes and TDSS killer and all these other types of programs. Now if you have lost your um, data and it's been hidden, I'll show you where it goes. You'll have some files inside here, inside users and the account that was infected app data local and inside the temp folder here you will see uh, some folders in there okay and this is where your actual hidden files will be 
okay the actual hidden folders but you can do this by clicking on unhide once we've done that we can run uh, Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, any of these types of programs just to clean up any remnants or anything that may be on the system okay, we're going to go OK here, I'm going to run the scanner on quick scan let that do its scan in the meantime while that's scanning if you have hidden files you can use a free program called unhide.exe and I will put the link in the description for you if you've got hidden files and also you can also use this command inside the command prompt and you can get to the command prompt by going down to the bottom here and type in CMD and then open up the command prompt and then what you would do is run this command that you see on the screen now and this will unhide all your files okay so that's the scan now finished just move this back to the center and have a look what we found and as you can see we've got a Trojan dropper there inside here inside the C root directory we've also got another Trojan dropper uh, fake program which is the actual uh, one we've just deleted and put into the recycle bin there got another Trojan agent there as you can see Allurian which is in the temp folder and a few other bits and pieces so what we're going to do is remove these so we have got some other bits on the system and uh, Malwarebytes has picked those up so we're going to remove those now I like to keep my uh, log files so I can inspect what's been going on and if you want to do that you can do that also and then we're going to reboot the system okay so that's now finished we don't need to run that again now what I'd advise you to do is also check to make sure you haven't got any proxies on the system and you can do that by opening up your browser going up to tools here now if you don't see that you can right click here uh, on this bar here and add menu bar um, but we're going to go to options here up to advanced then network then check your settings here and you want to make sure there's no proxy settings okay inside there in case it has been changed and it's the same thing for Internet Explorer so we just need to put our menu bar back up the top because it's gone so you just right click on there tools internet options and then connections land settings for this one and make sure that the ticks up the top you don't want nothing in the bottom here okay as if you're getting redirects you also want to do a quick scan just to make sure you've got no other rootkits on the system and this will do a scan of the system okay that's all cleaned up and I would run Hitman Pro and also some other tools maybe an online scanner if you've got other infections on the system if it was just that rogue then you should be pretty much good to go so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos remember guys hit that subscribe button and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again bye for now